and smoke four blunts and drink a 40 and then record a song. And maybe that shit might not be super big. But I'm like, man, there's a thousand niggas out there who don't like me and they need to hear this shit. So I'm gonna draw that shit today. I'm too smooth to be too smooth. No. It's like Zion is what? Barbara Walters? Barbara Walters. <laughs> No, I'm Rich Post Slim with Off Records. Okay. So, what's your role in Off Records? Shit talkers. Shit talkers. Okay. But so besides that, shit talkers is a lot. That's a broad. I talk a lot of shit to a lot of people. Make shit happen. On track stuff. No, in real life too. <laughs> I talk shit to white folks. Tell me about that kind of me. What about you? How did it come about? Like, was it always the Brother Slim, or was it just you guys came and say, I want to do this now? Well, off top of shit, I always wanted to be able to kind of do a situation with my rap shit from the beginning. Like, more recently, it was like, probably like six months ago, when I decided, yeah, I can do my own solo Rich Post Slim thing and shit, and I ain't got to be on the cast, use the cake, formula and shit like that. But like, we had always played around with, like, us making trios within the group and duos within the group, so we could do that shit now. So, like, uh, slug. like, plug them. Plug them, is it? Plug them? Okay. I might be saying it wrong. <laughs> I'm drinking this shit. And shout out to God. Slug, right? And don't be mad at me if I fuck it up. But our AR, you know what I'm saying, style of majesty. It's just access to shit I don't have access to in Atlanta all the time. 
And like this shit is more expensive. Like I smoke like a box of new force a day. At home. And if I'm just broke, broke, I probably spend like ten dollars a day with the new force. Like. But you get money doing shows. Then? Yeah, I get doing shows and shit, and like features and meeting people, and talking shit. Do you finesse a lot? Hmm? Yeah, you have to. That's what you do for money in Atlanta. Talking shit and finessing. Finessing. Finesse. Everybody about finesse in Atlanta. Even if you work like a nine to five and shit, you about to finesse a nap for two minutes in the corner and shit. Or not, you know what I'm saying? Do something to get over, you know what I'm saying? To make your life easier and shit, you know what I'm saying? Because that's just the name of the game down there. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all a lot more direct and straightforward with that shit. You know what I'm saying? With just, like, New Yorkers. But fucking in Atlanta and shit, it's real slick. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you know, you mean? In New York and shit, a nigga gonna come up to you and shit and be like, yo, give me this. You know what I'm saying? You gonna be about to issue direct off top. Gun in your face, nigga. This what's happening and shit. In Atlanta and shit, a nigga gonna walk up on you and be like, nigga, I got these magic things, nigga. They $150, they make, they do everything you need, you know what I'm saying? Like on some real. And he gonna sell you some shit you didn't want or know about or need for 20 times what it's worth and make you feel like it until you realize this nigga's up. At least for a couple of hours that you won and you got them got the deal and shit. Is that something you just born with in Atlanta or? It's something you picked up. What's the name of the game? For real, for real. Like, Atlanta's not as violent. There's violence and shit like that. But it's not as violent as, you know what I'm saying, other cities and shit like that. Because it's real spread out. And goddamn, you know, I think it's just the sense of cost of living is so low. It's enough land to go around. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no one really stopping you. It's just gonna be like, hey, no, nah, you can't do that shit. <laughs> it's you my corner. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, everybody sell weed. Your mm-hmm. mama sell weed. This nigga sell weed. It's college students mm-hmm. sell weed. So on and so forth. Nigga, it's a 10,000 weed even <laughs> in one neighborhood. But everybody, if you really about to hustle, don't find a way to get money and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and niggas just gonna be like, oh, nigga, you the weed man too. I'm about to kill you. Lanes when money fuck all the fame, riding the bitch. So starting off in the game, so high you can't get over, so low you can't get under. I'm feeling funkadelic off weed from California Square, bitch. No, I do not wanna fuck with the square, nigga. Talk that shit and you can get your it's your square, bitch. You ain't finna smoke up all my weed square, nigga. I'm off the shit, especially if you leave. Ain't never dream of genie, bitch. I dream of dollars. Was saved by the bed, was saved from going to jail. The way my P.O. pissed me got me shrooming, popping pills with some shade butter. Bitches getting naked through the hill. This is that boy. I'm fucked up. No. Going off the vices. Trying to rap vices. <laughs> yeah, that's it.